Well, the economic crisis has a lot of people nervous, especially those with high credit card debt. And for compulsive shoppers, it can mean losing everything you think is important for good. April Lane Benson, author of To Buy or Not to Buy, Why We Overshop and How to Stop, says now is the time to get help and stop the overindulgence. Good morning, April. And it's the perfect time, really, because there are so many sales. Yes. And they're so tempting when you're out buying Christmas gifts to buy for yourself. And if you really shouldn't be shopping, then you should know that you now is the time to stop. So first you have strategies on how you can stop over shopping if you have this compulsion to always be buying something. Mm -hmm. Well the first thing I think that's most important is to ask yourself six questions when you have the impulse to buy something. Why am I here? How do I feel? Do I need this? What if I wait? How will I pay for it? Where will I put it? And if you answer those questions in writing it's amazing how much less you will buy. It really forces you to think about it. And actually, you have the little reminder in a card right in the back of the book. Mm -hmm. I got a laminated copy, so I'm kind of, you know, wondering what they think out there that you needed to hand me the laminated copy. But it is it, it's good to remind yourself, why are you really buying these things? You have to identify the triggers yes. of what makes you want to shop, and you address that in your book. Yes. There are emotional triggers. You might feel sad, lonely, angry. There are situational triggers, a sale sign, upcoming holiday, Christmas. There are psychological triggers and even physiological triggers. You may feel your heart racing. You may feel an emptiness in your stomach. Any kind of negative mood state or any kind of excitement can set you to shopping. And now for people who like to shop but aren't sure if they're really compulsive shoppers, what are some signs they can look for in themselves? If you use shopping as a quick fix for the blues, if you find yourself thinking about shopping whenever there's some stress in your life, if you keep your purchases a secret, hide them away. Sometimes if your purchases go unworn or unused, if you've tried to stop but you haven't been able to, those are all warning signs. Mm -hmm. Now you do say that each month you can put some money away for what you call heart songs to kind of, in case you really have an urge that you need to get something, I guess. These are things you really, really want, you've thought about. I think it's really important not to feel deprivation. So I think to earmark some money for something that makes your heart sing. And usually it's not that eighth pair of black boots that makes mm -hmm. your heart sing. Right. Okay. Well, thank you so much, April. Good advice. Write everything down. Make sure you can really afford it. And the book, To Buy or Not to Buy, obviously we've learned the answer is not to buy unless you really need it. We'll be right back.